Although the recent events last month touched us all in many different ways, it left so many questions about the subject of suicide and heartache. We ask ourselves why and how could this happen? While these questions are not easily answered, our crime reporter Tim Llewellyn volunteered to research and come up with this story we hope will help prevent such a tragedy from ever happening again. Tamara? As we all know, we were hit in October with something none of us ever expected to deal with, the loss of a fellow classmate due to suicide. While rumors have and will continue to flow on what happened, those questions are for others to answer. But we here at Hawkeye News know it was time to deal with the topic and hopefully share information that could help prevent this tragedy from ever happening again. Be aware of warning signs. There is no typical suicide victim. It happens to young and old, rich and poor. Fortunately, there are some common warning signs which, when acted upon, can save lives. Here are some signs to look for. A suicidal person might be suicidal if he or she talks about committing suicide, has trouble eating or sleeping, experiences drastic changes in behavior, withdraws from friends or social activities, loses interest in hobbies, work, school, etc., prepares for death by making out a will and final arrangements, gives away prized possessions, has attempted suicide before, takes unnecessary risks, have a recent severe losses, is preoccupied with death and dying, loses interest in personal appearance, increases their use of alcohol or drugs. What to do? Here are some ways to be helpful to someone who is threatening suicide. Be direct. Talk openly and matter-of-factly about suicide. Be willing to listen. Allow expressions of feelings. Accept the feelings. Be non-judgmental. Don't debate whether suicide is right or wrong, or feelings are good or bad. Don't lecture on the value of life. Get involved. Become available. Show interest and support. Don't dare him or her to do it. Don't act shocked. This will put a distance between you. Don't be sworn to secrecy. Seek support. Offer hope that alternatives are available. Take action. Remove means such as guns or stockpile pills. Get help from persons or agencies specializing in crisis intervention and suicide prevention. Be aware of feelings. Many people at some time in their lives think about committing suicide. Most decide to live because they eventually come to realize that crisis is temporary and death is permanent. On the other hand, people having a crisis sometimes perceive their dilemma in inescapable and feel an utter loss of control. These are sometimes feelings that they may experience. Can't stop the pain. Can't think clearly. Can't make decisions. Can't see any way out. Can't eat or sleep or work. Can't get out of depression. Can't make the sadness go away. Can't see the future without pain. Cannot see themselves as worthwhile. Can't get someone's attention or can't seem to get control. If you experience these feelings, get help. If you know someone who exhibits these symptoms, offer help. Contact a community mental health agency a private therapist or counselor, a school counselor or psychologist, a family physician, a suicide prevention or crisis center, courtesy of www.suicidology.org, courtesy of the American Association of Suicidology. Please, if you ever have thoughts of suicide, get help. Or if you know someone who is talking about suicide, encourage them to seek help from a professional.